Gosh, I love leap day. Vince, it's not leap day. Oh, uh, my, my disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. The NHS 2019 Spring Play, The Crucible by Arthur Miller, will be running March 7th, 8th, and 9th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $8 and are available at the door each night. Doors will open at 6.30. Come support the arts and cheer on your fellow students in this incredible story that will transport you back to an unforgettable chapter in American history. Are you still looking for a prom dress? If so, come to the $25 dress sale March 16th at the Monon Trail Elementary School. There are thousands of new and gently used dresses. If the money is tight in your family, if the money is tight for your family, ask for one of your teachers to nominate you for a free dress. Everyone nominated is able to attend the sale early and get a free dress. For more information, see Ms. Nicholson in room 2207. Noblesville Riley Dance Marathon Committee is hosting a basketball tournament to raise money to donate to Riley Hospital. If you want to ball out like us, participate in Miller Madness. Riley Dance Marathon Committee is hosting a basketball tournament. It is open to all students during AAL on March 12th and 14th. The winner of the tournament plays the teachers on the 14th. To register a basketball team, it costs $15. However, if all members on your team sign up for the Riley Dance Marathon, it will only cost $5 to register. Each team has a minimum of three players and a maximum of five players. Your money should be turned in to B-Rob, Miss Sutherland, Miss Muller, Maddie Neely, or at the Riley table during lunch before March 8th. If you want to sign up for the basketball tournament or the Riley Dance Marathon, visit our Twitter at NoblesvilleFTK. Students can sign up using the link on Noblesville FTK Twitter. It costs $15 per team to register a three to five person team. The cost will be discounted $5 to any team that has every player signed up for the marathon on March 16th. Money can be turned into Maddie Neely, B-Rob, Miss Soderlin, Miss Moeller, or the tables at lunch. The final deadline for buying a yearbook is almost here. Make sure if you haven't bought one yet, you go on jostens.com to get yours. If you have any questions, go to Miss Dean in room 1208. If you are applying to go to Brazil this summer with the Sister Cities program, the deadline for the application is today. Visit www.nobesistercities.org or see Miss Dwyer in room 2201 for details. Now on to Vincent with Trending Today. Today we are bringing you the most important trending today news in NHS news existence. The rumor is true. The Jonas Brothers are back and looking better than ever. Their first single back is called Sucker. And wow, it is a bop. Everyone make sure to stream Sucker on iTunes or else the Jonas Brothers will disappear again. Back to you, Allison. If you are planning on going to Portugal and Spain with Mr. Cole, make sure to enroll by tomorrow before the March price increase. With any questions, go to Mr. Cole. Man, I missed 2007. What happened in 2007? Shrek 3 came out and the B movie. I guess that'd be a pretty good reason for a great 27. Let's toss it over to our slightly more monotone sports duo, Sebastian and Zach. Hey NHS, welcome back to Fine Arts Reddit. Let's kick it off with news, followed by Artist of the Week. Good luck to Jazz 1 as they perform later today, and good luck to Jazz 1, Jazz 2, and Mad Jazz as they all perform in their respective competitions tomorrow. Congratulations to the Winter Guard for all the hard work that they've been putting in. Also, make sure to come to the first annual Percussion Ensemble event hosted by NHS this Saturday. Hey, you should go to the ninth competition on March 2nd also known as Tomorrow. What is NIPE, you ask? Well, it stands for Noblesville Indoor Percussion Ensemble. What's Indoor Percussion Ensemble? Well, basically, it's a bunch of kids who march around on tarps with drums and a bunch of xylophones in the front. We go into a gym really fast, do a five minute performance, and get off really fast. Prices are $7 for adults, $5 for students and senior citizens, and kids under the age of six are free. It's in the main gym, and if you go, you can watch this live. That's all you get. If you want to see the whole thing live, go to our competition. If you feel like you wouldn't enjoy any of this, go to see the silly stuff. 
Hi, I'm Michaela Smith, and my arts is orchestra, show choir, marching band, and news. So, um, last year was my first year, and I was really passionate about that. I got to do a few little quick, quick little um, animation things. So I got into um, broadcast journalism from last year was my first year ever getting involved in it, but then this year was re really where I got into depth with it, with editing film and recording and stuff, and that is what I truly wanted to go to school for, so I decided to, why not take the class in order to get more developed in that field. Um, I animated that into mobile uh, comics, and that was just really quick. People don't understand how quick things are, but it's so time consuming. I would have to say the arts mean to me a chance to learn things about other people, maybe even cultures. I've taken that time of being involved in so many arts to understand that people can be so talented and maybe even more talented than you are, but you can still take what they have to offer and use it for your advantage. And also, I um, would like to say that being talented does not mean you have to be the best at it, but if you're good at your craft and enjoy your craft, that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, for the projects I have in news, we like to do videos on certain people. And I, last year, Libby Meyer, she was a former student, she graduated uh, last year. And I did a video about her, about what she has accomplished the four years of being in high school. And uh, it was just a few clips I got to get of her. Um, so yeah, I, I think what it is is more of just combining photography and um, videos and just making it your own thing and adding a little flavor to it. So She's out there making owl noises. Who? The girl reading this. Have a great weekend, NHS. Yeah. Welcome back, NHS. Ever wonder why a building is called a building if it's already <laughs> built? Well, have you ever cried underwater? Yep. Let's just read some news. Sports. Sport news. Hey, guys, make sure to come out to watch some basketball tonight as Millers have their sectional matchup tonight. Good luck, lads. Now on to our best anchor, Seb. Welcome to Pro Sports, where you can get all your sports info in 30 seconds. First up, breaking news. Jason Winton will be returning to the Dallas Cowboys after saying he was gonna retire. Next up, Russell Westbrook has beef with the entire NBA because he likes to talk that mush mush reported by ESPN. That's going to do it for this edition of Pro Sports. Now let's toss it back to Zach. There will be a cheer call meeting for the 2019-2020 season for both football and basketball teams on Tuesday, March 5th at 5.30 p.m. in the Junior Senior Cafe. If the interested cheerleader is not able to attend, a parent must be at the meeting to collect information. That's going to do it for this edition of Sports. Thanks for tuning in. You should check out our YouTube channel, NHS News, or our website, millermedianow.org.